Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 5 of Arrays. Before watching this video, you watch part 4. In this video, we will discuss about we need to write a program to swap the minimum value and maximum value in the given array. So, here let us consider an array with some elements like 3, 4, 1, 2, 6, 9. And we already know in the, in the array each and every element can be identified by using index number. Always index number starts from 0 to size minus 1. So, here also what is my requirement is I need to swap the minimum value and maximum value in the given array. So, in order to write this program, first of all we need to declare an array with size 6 and we need to store the values in the array and then we need to identify the minimum value in the array and maximum value in the array. So, here the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 9. So, I want to swap this is my minimum value and this is my maximum value. So, I want to swap the numbers means in my um, at the index of 2 I want to swap this 9 and at the index of 5 I want to swap this 1. So, first of all we need to identify the minimum value and maximum value in the given array and then we need to catch the index value where the minimum values exist and maximum values exist and then we need to assign the maximum value to the min index and the minimum value to the max index that is the logic. Let us see how to write this program. So, here I will try to open my visual studio editor. Here I will try to declare using system and here I will try to declare some class. The name of the class I will give as program and here I will declare main method static void main. First of all I will create an array and store the values in the array. So, here I will declare an array int ar is equals to new int of and I will try to store the values in the array like 3, 4, 1, 2, 6, 9 the same values I am trying to store here means I am creating an array with size what 6. So, I will try to mention the size of the array as 6. Now, I need to find the minimum value and maximum value in the given array. So, in order to find the minimum value, I will declare one variable int min. Initially, min is here of 0. I want to store this first value 3 in both min as well as max. Similarly, int max is equals to here of 0. Initially, I will try to store the index value 0 in both the variables. Now, I will try to write the for loop. I want to rotate the loop how many times? 6, time, uh, six times. So, as we already know, always index of the array starts from 0 to size minus 1. So, for int i is equal to 0, i less than equals to 5, i plus plus. Now, here I want to check whether my, um, the value that is available in the array is less than minimum value or not. So, here I will try to write, if ar of i less than min, then I want to swap the number. Means what? I want to assign that value in ar of i. Is it clear? Similarly, if so, so that I can get what the minimum value. If you want, you can cross verify. Just I will try to print console dot write turn of min. Let us see. So, what is the minimum value in the given array? One. So, how it is executing? Actually, this is my array. So, in array, each and every element can be identified by using what index number. So, always index number starts from where zero. Here, the index number starts from zero. That always index of the rest starts from 0. This is what 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, here initial i is how much 0? Means first time we are rotating the loop. So, here of 0, 3. 3 less than what? 3. Condition is false. i plus plus i is how much? 1. So, 1 less than equals to 5. Here of 1, that is 4. 4 less than 3. Condition is false. Next, i is how much? 2. Is it clear? So, here of 2, 1. 1 less than 3 condition is true enter so min is how much 1 initially min is 3 now min is how much 1 similarly i will be incremented i is what 3 so at the year of 3 means 2 2 less than 1 false 6 less than 1 false 9 less than 1 false so the minimum number is 1 similarly i want to find the maximum number so here i will write the same similar condition if year of i if year of i greater than what max then i want to swap the number max is equals to year of i is it clear now i want to print the maximum number 
console dot write line of max press F5. So the minimum number is one and maximum number is nine in the given array. Is it clear? Now what is my requirement? Write a program to swap the numbers, and we need to what uh, send the minimum number to maximum position and the maximum value to the minimum position. That is my requirement. Swap the number. So here what I want to do here is whenever I find the minimum number, we already know always the index of the array start from what zero zero one two three four five. Always index of the array start from zero to size minus one. Is it clear? This is my array. Are you following? So here what is my requirement? What is the small logic I'll try to use here? Whenever I identify the minimum number, at the same time I'll try to store the min index in one variable. And I will try to store the max index in another variable. So I'll try to declare two variables. One is min index, other one is max index. Is it clear? And then I will try to um, assign the maximum value to min index and minimum value to max index. So for that, what I will do? I'll declare two variables. Int min index is equal to initially zero. And here I'll try to declare one more variable like int max index is equal to zero. Now here I will try to store the i value. So here min index is equal to what i, and here I will try to store what max index. Max index is equal to what i. Are you following? So here what I want to do? Let us see. So here I will try to after the for loop I will try to assign the maximum value to min index. Here of min index is equal to max, and here of what max index is equal to what min. Max index is equal to min. Is it clear? So here you observe what is happening here. Uh, these are my values. According to our uh, requirement, the values are what? Here I have the values something like what? Three. Initially I have what? Three. And here I have four, one, two, six, nine. This is my array. In this array I have some values. So when I try to rotate this for loop, what will happen? At the position of what two, this is the index of two, and this is the index of five. Is it clear? When i is equal to two, here of i is how much? Is it clear? One. One less than three. Condition is true. So min is equal to one. Now min index is equal to what two? So what is there in min index? Two. Similarly, what is there in max index? That is five. Now this after executing this for loop, min index is two, max index is five. And what is the name given for the array? A R. Now what is my requirement here? You see, A R of min index means how much two? A R of two is equal to max. What is the maximum value? Nine. It means what? We are assigning what? The value nine at the position of two. And similarly, A R of max index that is what five is equal to what? Min. Min is one. So we are assigning the Min value. We are assigning the, the min value to maximum position. So I hope you understood. So your output is what? Three, four, nine, two, six, one. Let us see. I'll try to print the output. So I'll write one more for loop. Here after this, I'll try to write one more for loop. For int i is equal to zero, i less than equal to i less than equal to five, i plus plus. Console dot write off. Console dot write off. Here of what i plus I want to give some space. Let us see the output. Three four nine two six one. If you want to see the output uh, previous output also here you can check. Console dot what write off. Here also I'll try to print what here of what i plus I want to give some space. Is it clear? And here after this I'll try to throw the cursor to the next line. Console dot write line. See, this is your previous. Actual array. In actual array, the minimum value is one and the maximum value is nine. And after swapping, in minimum value what came? Nine came. Maximum value what came? One came. This is the logic. When can you become strong in logical programs? Means you have to write what your program. And after writing the program, you have to check whether your program is valid or not without depending on any other people. You have to manually substitute the values and what check whether your values are. Your program is working properly or not? I hope you understood this video. The next video we will discuss some more programs.
For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.